والان ننتقل الكلمه الى وزير التربيه في اموريه المالديف الدكتور اسماعيل شافيو ليتفضل مشكورا بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم esteemed chairperson distinguished ministers honorable guests ladies and gentlemen assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh it is a profound honor to address this distinguished assembly at the assesco education ministers conference i extend my heartfelt gratitude to director general dr sadi mohammad al malik and i also thank the honorable minister of education and government of oman for organizing this wonderful event we convene this conference at a time when global challenges such as wars economic instability and climate crisis have highlighted that education must be the cornerstone for peace and sustainable development the world bank reports that in low and middle income countries 53% of the children are in learning poverty unable to read or understand simple text by age 10 in many muslim majority countries this figure is higher with learning poverty rates near near in 70% in some cases this makes it clear that we must act decisively to address these gaps the transformation the transforming education summit has provided us with a road map to meet these challenges it emphasizes that translating commitments into concrete measurable action is critical ISCO's mission focused on providing education for all promoting gender equality and harnessing technological advancements like artificial intelligence is fully aligned with our national objectives in the Maldives I am proud to report that the Maldives have achieved the goal of access to education at primary and secondary level however much remains to be done particularly in addressing emerging challenges related to climate change, digital transformation, and teacher development for educational transformation. One area that requires immediate attention across all nations is the role of teachers. Teachers are the backbone of our educational systems. According to UNESCO, we need over 40 million more teachers by 2030 to achieve universal primary and secondary education worldwide in many muslim majority in many muslim majority countries the shortage of qualified teachers remains a significant barrier to improving education quality investing in teachers training well-being and professional development is critical if we are to meet our educational targets without adequately trained and supported educators our aspiration for achieving stg4 will remain distant this conference presents an invaluable opportunity to reaffirm our commitments and implement effective strategies that will shape the future of education in the islamic world by fostering partnerships and building robust networks among member states and international organizations we can ensure that education becomes a powerful force for progress, peace, and sustainable development in our societies. Before concluding, on behalf of the Maldivian government and the people of Maldives, I urge member states and the international community to take immediate and decisive actions to safeguard the people of Palestine and its neighbors from the unjustified violent aggression. We must implement an urgent action plan to address the educational challenges faced to children of Palestine and the region to overcome educational injustice that may have lasting impact in the region and beyond. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Shukran gazeelan, Malik.